So here we have um, a display controlled by the clip, dis um, controlled by this joystick. How it works is you download the program onto this chip via this um, uh, thingy here, and then th this sends 3.3 volts over to here, which powers the joystick um, and switch. Um, which, when you move the switch, um, the there's a resistor and the resistor moves depending on where the switch is giving you a different voltage which is transferred to the microcontroller and is um, changed into digital um, information which is then sent into the, um, the LED matrix into the, the LED matrix but the thing is the program like interprets the the values coming from the joystick and it and it, and it figures out how to program the display right yeah. The LED matrix. Okay. Yeah. And we. And, it, what? and it's sent over that interface. Yeah. Into this. Um, so now I'll show you how it works. Oh, wait a second. A couple oh, of things. What? Um, the, what's this thing here? This is a power? Power, power supply, yeah. Supply. It's got VCC and ground. What do, what voltage is that supply? Um, it's about. It supplies. Um, 5 volts or 3.3 .3 volts. Why is it set to 5 volts now? Um, what is it, why do we need 5 volts for this circuit? Um, because that's this takes 5 volts. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this one takes 3.3 .3 volts along with this one. So where does this one get its 3.3 .3 volts supply um, from? The 5 volts are... The 5 volt is um, put into here from the rail. And well, actually... It's um, the five, this this gets a f the five volt input, but it has its own regulator yeah. for three point three volts. But the signals coming out of here are only three point three volts, and they have to go yeah. across the interface to this, which is five yeah. volts. So, so it goes through these um, converters here, yeah. which change it into a three point um, a five point five volt signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which goes from here to here. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, do you want to demo? So, let's switch this off. You see, it's slightly moving at the moment because the sound slightly um, changes the voltage, but it's not a very big problem. Um, you can you can move it around like this. See, it's totally animated. Mm. So when you move it, you, it doesn't just go jump like that. It it goes across. Yeah, we put it, that. If code you put in it like right. that, you can see it. Yeah, it, when you it let go. It makes its way back. See. Yeah. We put in code so it doesn't just yeah. change the display position doesn't change instantaneously, right? It animates mm. to the new location, which gives it this nice kind of like when you move it, it gives this kind of nice kind of responsive feel, like it's an actual dot that that, yeah. that exists and moves. Yeah. And then you've got um, this. You can press the button, and it changes to orange. Yeah. Push it again to green, and back to red. At the beginning, we we had uh, there was a bug in our code. And we we it wouldn't work properly because um, when when you put it like this, it would just go straight back to red because mm. it the integer was um, red, so you could change it, but it would always go back to red. Okay. So like you put it onto green. There's a line of code that, that on the loop yeah. it just kept sending it back to red, right? We also set in this thing called a switch debouncer where. I think it's called a debouncer, but it's, it's in software where like, when you push it, it will change the color. But if you keep pushing it down, it won't change the color again because it's registered that it's already changed the color. And then we let go, you can push again and change it, right? Yeah. And then there's the animate function where you change it, position. Oh, you change the position. And like the input position changes, but the out the display position doesn't change immediately. It, tra it tries to track to the new desired location, right? Yeah. So this is our display, um, uh, controlled by this joystick, which has a switch in the middle. Mm. Um, it's it's a good thing to make, and mm. it, it looks really cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what's the value of like what 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 when we make it like this? It's just kind of a fun, right? Yeah. But, but what does it give us being able to do this? Um, it means that now we can program other things. For instance, we're gonna make a a robot. Yeah. Which um, a GPS robot which can navigate uh -huh. around stuff, right? And also, it can be used as a, like a fighting robot too, which would be a useful thing.
So, so the like now when you have to program that that kind of dots that LED display, now yeah. we know how to use this kind of uh, joystick. And we yeah. before we were like we know to use a seven segment display Hi. and the the five way switch. And so we're building up this like kind of library of of um, code and also. Um, like knowledge about interfaces and how to connect things up and stuff, right? Which we can then yeah. build into bigger and bigger and more complex and useful systems. Yeah. Cool. Right. So that's the seven segment display. Bye.